I like this one because it gives me like one division vibes. Hi, welcome to Farhad. I'm your host Farhad and this is Farhad. Today I want to talk about our Lord and Savior, the Princess of Pop. It's Britney, bitch. It's Britney, bitch. <laughs> It's Britney, bitch. But before I get into that, I just want to quickly mention the sponsor of this video, My Depression. That's right, this video is brought to you by My Crippling Depression. Do you ever just want to sit alone and cry? Do you want to eat your weight in junk food? Do you want to cry alone in the forest? Listening to Taylor Swift's folklore. Well, now you can! For the low, low price of one uncertain future, you too can experience depression the way it was meant to be felt. As a result of constant anxiety brought upon by late stage capitalism, so why not give depression a go? It's working for me. Thanks again to my depression for sponsoring this video. Um, ciao. Anyway, so... So Britney has been in the headlines for the past few months, really, ever since this documentary came out called Freighting Britney Spears. In it, they talk a lot about the alleged financial abuse by her father, Jamie Spears. Is that his name? If you're watching this video, you're probably already aware of the conservation... Conservation? Conservation? You're probably aware of the conservatorship that her father has over her uh, finances. I'm not going to talk too much about that because I don't really have anything to add to that conversation. Who is having that conversation? You know, because it's in the courts, it's in the process of hopefully being resolved, hashtag free Britney. And I don't really have anything to add to that because I don't really know anything about the law. Not me saying I don't know anything about the law, right as I'm about to graduate from my law degree. So for today's video, I want to instead focus on a conspiracy, a faux spiracy, if you will. A faux spiracy about Britney Spears. If you're following Britney Spears on Instagram, you've probably got the same question as I do right now. What? Is red. Over the past week or so, Britney's been posting a lot of random photos on her Instagram. For every single one of these posts that she's been making, she's been writing the word red. Like, what does it mean? What is red? I need to know right now. And we're gonna figure it out together, so thank you for watching. So what does red mean? Is she doing a cover of Taylor Swift's album Red? All Too Well by Britney would fucking slap though. Like, every time vibes. But what's she playing at? What is, what is going on? Let's investigate. All right, so let's just go on to her Instagram page, first of all. Okay, so this is my Finsta, and uh, we're gonna go right ahead and search for Britney Spears. So as you can see, there's quite a lot of interesting posts made. Um, some of these are a little bit scarier than others. If I, what the fuck is that? <laughs> All right, look. Okay, let's just start from the start. All right, so here is the beginning of the whole Red Saga. She posted this photo of herself. She looks great. She looks really alive. You know, there's a bit of a sadness behind her eyes. It's actually a series of photos. Let's have a look at all of them. So we got this, another photo. My question is who's taking these photos? Like, is she got a self timer on? Is her boyfriend taking them for her? Uh, I like this one because it gives me like one division vibes. You know, when she's walking towards Monica and she's just like, get out of my house. <laughs> get out of my house. <laughs> The comment she's posted is Twisted Elegance, introducing red. Hence this video being made. Thank you, Brittany, for giving us content. Content that we need in this global panoramic. This is the photo that started it all, right? This is the beginning of the red saga. The problem is, and as hilariously pointed out by our good friend underscore Shrex, she wrote, there's literally no red here, friend. That's funny. I love the other comments where it's just like, I hope you're doing okay, safe, we love you, we see you and we hear you. Mum, where's the red? Good question. Trying to look for the signs like... So what have we learned from this first photo? Not a lot. She's introduced red. What is red? We still don't know. She has used a rose, a lips emoji, and two lipstick emojis with not one, not two, not three, but four exclamation marks, so... That's cool. Maybe it's like a rose colored lipstick that she's making. We'll find out. All right, let's go to the second photo. So here we have a video she's posted. No lipstick, blush, or foundation, because I was in a rush. But you get the idea. <laughs> um, so this time she's added a red hot chili pepper. Once again, we have a lot of comments mentioning that there is no red in the video. Eyeliner, always eyeliner, Brit. Save Brittany. Brit, did you talk to Oprah yet? Please let me know. <laughs> Next photo. All right, this one is a little bit more cryptic. This one's interesting because it seems to suggest something actually might be happening, which is what we want. Again, red lipstick, red nail polish, that's new. They've got these interesting diamonds, gold. I don't know what's going on. Something above her teeth, like grills. I mean, Jared Leto's Joker from the Suicide Squad is quaking and Britney is just serving Joker realness. So Jake Will mentions, oh my God, what does red mean? We need the tea. 
tea, tea, red tea, red tea, yellow tea, red tea. I love this comment from Army Boy 88 Thank you for serving our troops. He's just written, what's going on? Again, because of this picture, I'm just leaning towards some sort of makeup line, maybe a red lipstick. Something along those lines seems to be in the works by uh, Miss Britney Spears. Alright, let's go to the next photo. For this one, it's a bunch of photos that she's celebrating perhaps International Women's Day or Women's Month, I'm not sure. Posted a lot of photos, so we've got Sharon Stone here, we've got Natalie Portman, we've got Sarah Jessica Parker, we've got Jamie Lynn Spears, hashtag the reason why Zoe 101 was cancelled. Bitch. Miley Cyrus. The other Cyrus. Whoever this is. So this is a bit of a break from the red post, so we're gonna, we're gonna skip right through this one. Alright, next up we've got... Throwback to the 2002 London Crossroads premiere. Nothing to do with the colour red. Again, she's... Oh, there is some red in the background here, which is more red than any of the previous pictures we've seen so far. Maybe this is a hint that even though the colour red isn't mentioned in the description, there in her thoughts. Alright, let's go to the next one. So this is probably the wildest one yet. We've got this red refrigerator-freezer combo. It says refrigerator. So we've got this red refrigerator. It looks very retro, very 50s, kind of like those Smeg refrigerators that you see around. It's fine. I'm okay with it. There's nothing going on here. And she's captioned this one red. Red kiss, strawberry, lipstick, apple, rose, tomato, chili, balloon, Watermelon sugar high. So, what's going on? We have no idea. Let's discuss. So, just looking at it from a distance, it seems to suggest that she might be creating a new line of refrigerators that might be for sale. Um, Befrigerators, if you will. The Brit. Brit. Refrigerators? Brit. Refrigerators. Refrigerator. No. Spearsorators. No. Refrigerators. Yeah, that's okay. Her line of refrigerators will be coming out pretty soon, so maybe that's what's going on here, I'm not quite sure. But let's look at the comments to see if we can untangle anything. So we've got I am Garcia saying, what is going on with the red? Literally Iconic says, honey, what is this? Again, red, but this time she's wearing red gloves. <sighs> I don't know. <sighs> I don't know. <sighs> I don't know. Red. Red gloves. Red leather. Yellow leather. Everybody's filled. She's got a very sultry look in her eyes, like... She's screaming for help. She's covering her mouth with the gloves, so it could be a lipstick. I'm leaning towards a lipstick. Britney Spears red, that sells. That, that'll sell. That, oh my god, there's a helicopter going very fast over there. Okay, in this one we've got a little kitten in a Aurora, I guess. Red, three cats. She's gonna be our Taylor's version of red. That would be fantastic. Okay, enough now. Tell us what red means. I'm with Lexi Palmer. Tell us what red means. It's getting a little bit tiring. Red. P.S. The Project Pink will be revealed next week. Last pick is the original pick. Okay, so we can see that she has got some photoshopping done here. Again, I love the comments that are like, girl, we don't even know what red is. Where is the red? Britney Spears, if you are in Dangerous in the next video, wear a yellow clothes. Okay, um, what else we got going on? The next... Oh, so this is... very strange. Devil is in the details. Wouldn't want this baby to hit me one more time. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Jack my swag. Ha 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 ha. Jack my swag. What the fuck is this? Okay, where to begin? This is 100% a sign. A sign of what? A sign of the times, maybe? Girl, what is happening? Rebuke that baby in the name of Jesus. <laughs> this has to mean something. Yeah, of course it means something. This one's scary. I'm concerned. This is the one that makes me think she actually might be in danger. Alright, let's move on. I'm an extremely wicked looking vampire, but really, that's the whole point. Is that the same video that was posted originally? I think it might be. She just added different music to the same video. I don't understand. She posted them like a week apart. <laughs> Guys, she's wearing red. We said to wear red. Maybe this is what Rapunzel did while locked away in the castle. Spill. Spill that tea. So the message in this post is Britney loves dancing, that's all I see. Oh, and she's wearing a red top, because right now she seems to dig the colour red. Next week apparently it's pink she's into. Mystery solved. Mystery not solved, the Craig T. This is... what? No, we're not even close to being solved. Okay, so I gotta leave my apartment in a few minutes, so I'm gonna have to quickly cycle through these a little bit faster. So, next one.
My life has always been very speculated. Watched and judged really my whole life. For my sanity, I need to dance to I am Stephen T every night of my life. Dance emoji. To feel wild and human and alive. I have been exposed my whole life performing in front of people. It takes a lot of strength to trust the universe. I lost my place. With your real vulnerability, because I've always been so judged and insulted and embarrassed by the media. And I still am to this day. As the world keeps on turning and life goes on, we still remain so fragile and sensitive as people. I didn't watch the documentary, but from what I see of it, I was embarrassed by the light they put me in. I cried for two weeks and, well, I still cry sometimes. I do what I can in my own spirituality and with myself to try and keep my own joy, love and happiness. Every day dancing brings me joy. I'm not here to be perfect. Perfect is boring. I'm here to pass on kindness. Kiss emoji. Seems Britney is not writing this. I'm with Rapolo Crespo. Brittany did not write that. There's no way Brittany wrote that. First of all, too many emojis. Second of all, somehow not enough emojis. My guess, personally, is that her dad and her agents are probably doing some damage control. Well, she mentioned the documentary here. She mentioned that she was embarrassed by the light they put her in. So whoever wrote this wants us to believe that Brittany is embarrassed by the documentary. They want us to believe that Brittany Spears is someone who gets embarrassed easily. Let me just replay this video again, okay? Britney Spears is not embarrassed by that documentary. Whoever wrote this is a liar. Anyway, channel, um, it's quite clear that Britney didn't write this. Let me know what your thoughts are on this one because this one's, this one stumped me a little bit. I don't really know what's going on. And quite frankly, I'm scared. Hope she's okay. Next up, we've got The Princess and the Pea, a classic. Britney writes, this was my favorite book growing up. To this day, I still can't believe they found that pee under all those mattresses. Uh, Abby writes, this just unlocked something in my brain. We're here for you, Brittany, we love you. I literally said the princess of the pee today for the first time in decades, probably. This is a sign. P.S. Love you, Brittany. Shut up, Hunter. That never happened. Okay, so I've spent the last half hour going through all of Brittany Spears' Instagram posts, reading all of the comments, making some Google searches, and ultimately, I found nothing. That's right, I don't know what's going on. I still have no idea. And I think the most obvious answer is that Britney's releasing some sort of makeup line, probably a red lipstick because she's posted a lot of like kissing emojis that have obviously got the red lipstick around them. She might be releasing a new fragrance. Britney's probably got one of the most successful fragrance lines of any artist in history. Okay, according to the Britney Spears fandom Wikipedia page, Britney Spears has just released her 30th fragrance. That's right, her 30th. Fragrance. 30th. 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 It's called Fantasy Intense. An upcoming fragrance launching in 2021. She's got so many fragrances, it's crazy. The perfume game is incredibly lucrative to someone like Britney Spears. You know, who's got 30 fragrances at this point, she's probably earned so much money from that money. This is why her dad is so desperate to keep, you know, a hold of her funds because she's earning so much money. I don't really think she'd release a fragrance called Red. It just doesn't seem to fit in with like the theme of all her old fragrances. Like, if I'm looking at the list here, you know, they're, they're like Curious Fantasy, Curious in Control, Midnight Fantasy, Believe, Curious Heart, Hidden Fantasy, Circus Fantasy, Radiant, Cosmic Radiant, Fantasy Twist, Island Fantasy, Fantasy Anniversary Edition, Fantasy The Nice Remix, Fantasy The Naughty Remix, Fantasy Stage Edition, Rock of Femme Fantasy, Fantasy Renna Edition, Fantasy Intimate Edition, Maui Fantasy, Private Show, Fantasy in Bloom, VIP Private Show, Sunset Fantasy, Prerogative, Fantasy Pride Edition, Rainbow Fantasy, Prerogative Rave, Glitter Fantasy, and finally, Fantasy Intense. I don't see the name Red fitting in anywhere there. She's actually kind of insane. Judging by the names of her old fragrances, I don't think it's one of those. Could be. I don't know, Miss Britney Spears is unpredictable. She is prerogative. And she is the moment. Now come on now. After this incredible investigation, I've come to the conclusion that Britney Spears Red is simply a project for her Instagram page. Project Red is just a series of photos that she's put out, you know, just photos of things that are red. That's fine, Britney can do that. It's okay. The timing of it all is a little bit sus. You know, she's in the middle of this legal battle with her dad. Fans are like crying out to speak to her. Fans are trying to support her. And of course, this whole documentary that recently came out. There's a lot of calls for Britney to do a Meghan Markle style interview with Oprah, which would be fantastic if that happened. I don't think it will because Britney doesn't seem to be that kind of person. But, other but otherwise, I'm at a loss. I don't know what's going on. And with that, I'll leave it to you. What do you think's happening? What do you think Britney's trying to tell us with this whole red situation. I'm 
Not at all. I mean, you know, sis is spilling the tea. Uh, with that said, thank you for watching this Forspiracy investigation with me, Farhad, your Forspiracy host. And that concludes today's video. So thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, make sure you give it a like. If you have something to add, make sure you leave a comment and let me know your thoughts. And of course, if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can stay tuned for future Forspiracy episodes because that's what we do here. We support one another. We support our besties. All right, I gotta go. Bye.